Back with you now this Friday on Listens Live. We've got the elder advisors uh, protecting your assets, that peace of mind, making sure you don't go broke in a nursing don't home. Don't do it because you don't have to. You don't have to. Before the break, we were we were talking about placement. Yeah. So let's yeah. get back to that because it's obviously yeah. such an important Well, aspect. and it really is. And it's just another example of how our business model has grown. You know, we now have a master level social worker, Lindsay is a, a board certified patient advocate. So that's part of what we bring to the table is, you know, I kind of do the financials, but there's the human component. What do I do when they call? Is mom getting the right nutrition stuff? So we have staff that helps with that now. But Autumn really stepped the game up about three years ago with placement. You know, now the business office managers are texting her in real time. Hey, we've got some beds available. Make sure. So she is really just, you know, I couldn't be more proud of Autumn. She's really excelled in working the relationships. She was at a couple communities yesterday bumping into other staff from elder advisors because we're helping different families there. I mean, we are out there every day as an advocate for families and autumn is working it hard thank you autumn oh, thank you <laughs> well, I try. We, we, and we need it i mean these, yeah. are, these are the services we need so not mm -hmm. only a, a thank you but but for our community as a whole this this is the type of of thing that brings people together right. it, it helps us to to go forward during tough times that's what the workshops are for as well. Yep. Three workshops coming up, yep. and yep. there are three key questions there are. you ask right when you walk through the door. Yeah, pretty much when we open up at 10 a.m. is I tell the families, the audience are there, I said, you know, you don't have to be honest with me, but if you're going to get anything out of the workshop today, you need to be honest with yourself. And it starts with three key questions. How many people have a loved one in a nursing home or about to go? And hands will go up. That's crisis playing. The house is literally burning down in real time. It's the worst possible time for everybody in the family. We can help. If it's a husband and wife, one spouse is going in, we're not getting divorced. That's barbershop law. We're not doing that, <laughs> uh, unless you want to. Uh, but we're going to protect the assets so mom and dad can keep everything. We work within the rules to do that. Uh, the second variable is how many people have a loved one at home, getting some rehab, maybe some adult daycare. And if certain things don't play out next three or four months, we might have to think about calling Autumn for placement or things like that. Hands go up. That's pre-crisis planning. We can help then. We're certainly in the skill set of the legal components uh, using uh, Stein Law because there's things we're definitely going to do now ahead of time to get some things going there. And then the third question is I tell people, I said, now everybody's hand's going to go up and some more than once. And I'll ask families, I say, how many people simply want to avoid these problems for themselves now, give themselves peace of mind and protect their family and what they've worked a lifetime for, maybe keep the 100-acre farm. Then all the hands go up. That's pre-planning. It's proactive planning. It's getting ahead of the curve. So often we, you know, we react to things. Well, if you're going to be an aggressive estate planner, and I am, I'm hyper full of energy, you got to get ahead of this. You've got to stay proactive. You've got to anticipate these problems. So it's almost always financial, but there's almost always a legal component. And I want to kind of come back to Stein Law. We, Amy was talking about the nuance. The one word I didn't hear was if, they, if, if the spouse of 40 years now suddenly has to sell the house to get a line of credit, her husband's had a stroke, she's, he's in the hospital, and he can't sign anything, and he doesn't have power of attorney, what is her only legal recourse Amy Wheatley Stein Law. Then they have to go to the court and have him uh, appointed as a guardian appointed for him. And that's um, a lengthy, expensive, and frankly upsetting process. Well, it's perfect that you're here today, too, uh, with Stein Law, because he, since you've been on this week, just three times we've gotten to hang out together. It's the charm. It, exactly. <laughs> I've had several people reach out to me saying, you know, I actually, this is actually something I need to do. Yeah. One of the questions I got was, okay, we talked about on the law side, the financial aspect that, that you're dealing with. Is there something else that is another top on the legal side? This is something that would need to be addressed. Well, and I think what, what Larry was talking about is, is the power of attorney. Um, because I think a lot of people think that, oh, we've been married for 40 years. It's there. You know, it's there. Right. I, I, you know, I, I know, I, I know his socks and I know his shoe size. And so I, I should be able to, to sign these documents and you can't. And unfortunately, um, in order to do a power of attorney, you have to be of sound mind and body. So it, a lot of times, if you feel like that your significant other is maybe slipping, um, maybe starting to have some issues issues with like dementia or, or something, then it's too late at that point to get a power of attorney. So um, the time to get it would be before all of that happens. Yeah. <laughs> and and sure. which is what we're, we're planning for here. But right. Larry, when you've had to have those conversations where someone comes to you and, and says the things that Amy was referring to, I, I know everything about him. I know his shoe size, but, but they haven't properly planned. What is that like to try to navigate through the process well, then? They're about to enter the world of what I call fiscal combat. 
Uh, they're now dealing with previously, you know, Mary or Sue or Bob at the bank were all nice and cheery. Now suddenly they're very dour. They're mm -hmm. very demure. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sorry, there's nothing we can do. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm sorry. Well, the problem is now the financial institution has the asset, has the control over, but now the family does not. And so then things turn very quickly, and now you get that sick feeling in your stomach. So that's what we're trying to impart with the workshops. And this is the basic stuff. This is the basic stuff. It's worth coming out to the workshops, you know, Monday in Louisville. Tuesday in Clarksville, Wednesday in E-Town. All the workshops start at 10 o'clock. You can go to freeworkshop.com or call 855-LAWYER-55. It's worth an hour, hour and 20 minutes of your time. Make use of the fact that we are going to have attorneys there so they can handle the legal component because we're not attorneys at Elder Advisors. We do the financial part. I can clean the windshield of your car, but I don't do the legal part. That's why we're glad to have Stein Law here for May to answer these questions because there's almost always a legal component. But it's going to be fun. It's fast-paced. You know, give up an hour, hour and 15 minutes of your time this next week. It'll be fun. You might even learn a few things. And one way that, that we can look at this, and Autumn, maybe on the placement side, think about all the other aspects of your life that maybe you've run into an issue and you, you wish, I, I, I wish I would have planned ahead of time for this. When it comes to placement, is that something that you're going to be talking about almost right away with some oh, of these yeah, folks? Oh, yeah, for sure. If it's a crisis plan, it'll be, even if it's just six months out, we want to look because it's important to get on the list at some of these places, especially if they if they really have one they love and, uh, you know, some of them have two-year wait list. So it's really, really, really important to get in front of it and at least start the process. But it is never too late. I mean, even if they don't have the power of attorney, call us People like Amy we work with will get things done. This is this is just a, a snippet of the things you're going to get in a workshop. Absolutely. I mean, you could have joined the show today and not known the power of attorney right. situation, not known there are wait lists that long mm -hmm. to maybe get placed in, into the it's, areas that you thought you were. It is very long. And, and, very and long. to Autumn's credit, she knows how to thread the, the narrative, the conversation with the business office at the communities to mm -hmm. say the right things, don't say the wrong things, because sometimes, you know, when, when a regular layperson calls, it's hard to get a phone call returned, and then when they are talking they say wrong things mm -hmm. they get it mixed up sometimes I can get a, a jump on that two years so we'll you know we'll work with them and yep. the communities and see what we can get done 30 seconds hit the hit the workshops one more can time talk in and don't go broke in the nursing home because you don't have to it's that simple come out Monday Louisville Hilton Garden Inn on Crittenden Drive off exit 132 I-65 right next to Cracker Barrel Tuesday we're back in Indiana Clarksville Hampton Inn, right off of uh, Veterans Parkway on Broadway, and E-Town, we're coming downtown to E-Town on Wednesday, 10 o'clock at the Hampton Inn. You're a professional. Hilton Garden Inn. So Hilton. I don't have to be. Yeah, That's Hilton Garden Inn, <laughs> Wednesday. Okay. Do we get anything about the peeps before we go? That's my man, Mr. Peeps. He's been all over the set. I know he has, but <laughs> right? everybody keeps asking me why. You're not gonna Isn't know. it Easter Sunday? <laughs> Isn't it's Easter Mother's Sunday? Day. Very Come out to the workshop, so explain it there. <laughs> Happy weekend, everyone. Bye, Kentucky Anna.